Scorpio, September could be a very intense month for you, and it will be a very important month for you. The new moon on September 5th is highlighting an area of your life around new starts around friendships. And you can find yourself, you know, going out and being with more people, especially when they're gathering in different places. Say there's a club that you belong to or particular gathering place that you and your friends like to go to. Yet this new moon is connected with Chiron. And Chiron can bring up memories of the past where you might have been hurt in a relationship before, a love or a relationship. And it's brought up so you release that. You see what you can learn from that and move on from that. This will be extremely important as on September 11th, Venus goes into your sign. Venus will go into Scorpio September 11th. Venus in your own sign is a good thing. It can bring little, you know, people, little little gifts from the universe, little people from the past coming back, meeting new people. Yet this month, an unusual occurrence is happening. There's going to be, Saturn will be conjunct the North Node in, in Scorpio, your sign, along with Venus. So we have Venus, Saturn, North Node conjunction in your sign, Scorpio. What does this mean? One, it means how well have you done about restructuring your life where you're being true to yourself and what's important for you? What have you gotten rid of and what are you holding into keeping into place? What are you putting effort and energy in to that's worth it to you? How are your boundaries around relationships? How are they what you is really that's good for you? This happens, Venus conjunct Saturn on September 18th, which is a very intense week as the full moon is on the 19th, emphasizing again, whatever came up around the new moon, around anything that could have been memories from the past where you felt betrayed or hurt around relationships, and it would bring up trust issues. Who can I trust? Who can I not trust? And the reason why it's so powerful is Pluto is stationing and the next day it goes direct and the station of the the moment that Pluto goes direct we have the moon conjunct Uranus in Aries and this intensity is bringing up this reminder to be true to yourself now Scorpio's ruled the old ruler is, is Mars Aries is ruled by Mars and Mars is in in Leo in Mars and Leo, what all of this means is that how it can manifest for you is there could be a change in your daily schedule that you want to make and you could look at your work and feel a need to kind of like make some, not necessarily make some waves, but put some energy or effort or directness and what's going on with work, what you, you want for work. And it can be internal. You can decide for yourself. In order for me to have the authentic life that I want, this is the energy or effort I need to put into my career sector in order for it to work out the way that's important for me. Now, the sun enters Libra on the 22nd. And this equinox energy is happening. What happens is that begins the month before your birthday which is a little bit more about releasing, going within, meditating. The equinox energy, when the for the chart of the equinox, the moon will be in Taurus, which and there both the sun and the moon will be ruled by Venus in your sign. So this is pointing to you. Take time to meditate, find your inner peace, your inner harmony, and Venus, what is important to you, what you value the end of the month it goes out with a bang as Venus will be squared Mars on September 28th and Venus being in your sign at this very intense degree of Scorpio square Mars it can bring up if there's issues between relationships will bring them up you know little little cat and dog sort of energy of discord but ultimately it's really about yourself where are you not in harmony within yourself and how you will find harmony is going into your own inner world your own meditation your own spirituality and seeking first peace within 
and then being able to take it out to the world and then having, you know, your personal world and having peace in your world.